Okay, so let's talk about uh, uh, mathematically what Reynolds averaging would imply. So we start from the incompressible Navier-Stokes equation. I'm just going to write uh, the divergence of the tensor u u. Okay, so that's a three by three tensor. Just the multiplying each component of velocity with any other component. That's the abduction term. Plus, uh, gradient of pressure is equal to we have the laminar viscosity times Laplace of u, right? We also have the divergence of u equal to zero. So Reynolds averaging means that if you take a time average over both sides of the equation, they are still equal, right? You take the time average of left hand side minus right hand side, you are just the time averaging zeros, you still get zero. So after time averaging, these two sides are has to be equal. So I'm just going to use over bar to denote time average. Okay. So the first thing we notice is that if you average over du dt, what do you get? So if we define the averaging as t goes to infinity, 1 over t, of just to use the definition partial u partial t times dt what is that that is limit of t goes to infinity ut minus u0 over big t so if the solution of the navier stokes equation doesn't really blow up most of the case we don't and uh, uh, t goes to infinity, this is equal to zero, right? So with time averaging, the time derivative term is gone completely. And second, if we average over time, the average commutes with a spatial derivative, right? So this term becomes the divergence of u u bar and this becomes the gradient of p bar this is equal to nu times the laplace of u bar so by writing a big p as p bar big u as u bar we get uh, the Reynolds averaged Navier-Stokes, which is the divergence of uu bar plus gradient of big P equal to new this of Laplace of big U. So of course we don't really know what if if we want to derive a governing equation for the big U and big P. Oh, and also we have by averaging over this we get divergence of U is equal to zero. So the mean velocity is also divergence free. Of course, we want to derive some relationship between this uu bar and what we think we'd like, which is the divergence of big U times big U. So that's what we want. So to try to get this, we write this term as the term we want plus the difference between the term we get and the term we want, right? and all the other terms still follows. But it turns out this term would never disappear. Okay. And this term that is left over, the difference between u u bar and u bar times u bar is the Reynolds stress. 